Good evening everybody and welcome back to the channel. This is Angel from Angel Illustrations and this is my stupid project of the year. Now, a bit of background. I grew up with the posters of Drew Struzan and from my opinion they are some of the best ways of showing a movie poster and it still breaks my heart to this very day to see that all movie posters have foregone the artistic history and it's become Matt Damon's face with giant words over it two people standing back to back photographed and it, they're all interchangeable these days and, and they don't have the same magic so what I decided to do, because I'm a big sci-fi nerd, is take the poster for Blade Runner and do one for Blade Runner 2049, because that poster doesn't really hold up against the original. And yeah, this was my first mistake. So, to draw it all out on one sheet I had to sketch it all well, from a standing position because there was so much complexity so many heads and it's just quite difficult to get an overview when you're sat in front of a drawing board and I think at this point where I was mapping it all out from my mocked up Photoshop document over to one side that I realised this piece of paper is far too small but being both stubborn and idiotic I persevered and I kept going uh, Blade Runner 2049 is an odd film um, I did enjoy it I think it captured a lot of the spirit of the original but without being quite so dark and yeah I, I just wanted to capture all the, the main players really so yeah you've got you've got K you've got Joy Love Harrison Ford's in there and I, I just try to get a symmetry from the Drew Struzan poster where It was, it was all sort of symmetrical, so you, you had the gun, you had the romance option, you had the villains. Um, I wanted to stray a little bit from the Struzan colour choices. I love the blue faces he did in the corner, but as I, went, as I was drawing it, I realised it, it's just going to... I don't want to be replicating him. And that's something I've got to come back to afterwards because it's one of the traps I fell into when doing this. You see, uh, being, a, being a massive fan of Drew Struzan, I tried to force myself to create this poster using his style rather than trying to use my own. As you can see from the amount of actual drawing that I'm showing you, I went away from my natural style. Uh, you can see the, the the drawing, the drawing, the drawing. The shading went in first as like an under shade. Um, it's, it's not how I've grown to draw in the last few years. And it caused a lot of frustration for me, if I'm honest. It, I felt it kind of restricted me a little bit. Because it, everything was there, everything was tied in, and I didn't have that freedom to just dick around with moving this colour, moving, moving this over there. And it was all perfectly planned out and mm, 
not massively a fan. If you hear purring, purring, sorry. Uh, I do record these voiceovers live. Uh, there is a kitten in my arms right now. You probably see them bounce around the drawing board a few times during this piece of artwork. But this is Chewy. She likes to purr. She's long furred. And this is the quietest I've ever heard a bee. So, at this point of the drawing I realised that bottom corner needed something more, so... Following Drew Struzan's original idea, I put some text in that was on the Joy notice board. A uh, bit of a jump. Sorry, I didn't record absolutely every step. Uh, I did the underpainting with markers, and I'm just going over the top with coloured pencils. Now, these are the Pablo coloured pencils. Oh, you're so noisy. You're so noisy. Yes, you are. So these are the current Ash Pablos. I use these because they're quite soft and um, working on a smooth surface. I didn't know what would stick. Uh, this is a Bristol surface, um, if I haven't already mentioned. So it's very, very textural, a smooth surface. Uh, it's not one I've worked on since university, really. You want to go down? Do you want to go down? Okay, there you go. And Chewie has left the building. Yes, you have. Don't argue with me. But, yeah, just enhancing the marker colours. So, it's all there at this point, and I am scratching my head at, as to what I can do. So, FW Acrylic Inks. Don't go on my keyboard. This is my other kitten. This is random. My little boo. She's not so loud, but she does like to walk across my keyboard. Anyway. FW Acrylic Inks. So, I know these are able to glaze. So I use those over the top of my underwork. Just to glaze on tones, shades, colours. At this point, panic had set in. I knew that I'd messed up. And I really didn't know how to fix it. Um, I, I really wasn't happy with the drawing, I wasn't happy with the likenesses. Everything was so tight in one space. Yeah, I, I, I was struggling very hard at this one, at this point on this one. And it's not long after this that I came to the realisation that I'm not drawing in my style, I'm drawing in somebody else's style. and trying to do things other people had done without any practice on my part which uh, it, it's what I do I, 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 I don't practice these things all the time if it's a new technique, new material I'll dive straight in and see what happens but another quick jump, I've got to switch on my desk lamp so there's some heavy shadowing there uh, yeah, I'd lost faith in the whole project at this point, and short of scrapping it and starting again, which I wasn't prepared to do, because A, I didn't have the piece of paper big enough, and B, when you've got two small kittens, it's very difficult to navigate a large piece of paper. But I persevered. So you're seeing watercolour markers, alcohol-based markers, coloured pencils. Uh, these are... Yeah, this is where I went in with Prisma colours. So, again, working softer pencils again. I had to break these out of storage because I haven't used them in a while. Just working softer pencils, trying to... Trying to make it me. Where... It was too late. Um, hindsight, Captain Hindsight says, as soon as you saw it going wrong, you should have stopped, redrawn on a larger scale, uh, changed the composition maybe, though I'm, the composition is something I'm quite happy with, but change it to be me and not a 
very poor imitation of a master artist and yeah it's, it, it it didn't go very well but it it I had to do it and at, at this point it's finish it or die trying and I wasn't prepared to die I uh, found out my wife is pregnant so we've had a 14 week scan that, that's quite sobering really so I might not have a lot of time to draw <laughs> not that I've got a lot of time to draw these days but yeah oh kitten hello so yeah working with it uh, this is a very nice pen it's a micron brush pen not used it before quite enjoyed it might use it again so uh, yeah I'm wrestling with Kay's head now no idea how I was going to do this, so in with the Posca and in with the watercolor marker over that it seemed to do its job. But again, I'd, I'd lost it at this point. I, I was completing the artwork for the sake of completing the artwork. That's FW Ink again, just whiting out, putting a little bit more color depth. just trying to rescue it this is uh, now it, it it wasn't feeling I can see on watching the playback as I record the narration I can see bits of me creep in especially with this absolutely tiny brush I was just pulling out pretty much hairs hairs and tiny little edge lights and yet, yeah, now I've given up. I'm re-blackening that border just to get rid of some of the big mess. And yeah, that's it. So, truth be told, I am not happy with this piece. Wasn't happy with it from the start. Would I do it again? Hmm. I don't know. It's a difficult one. I don't think I did a good job on it. Other people may disagree, but that's what art is. It's utterly subjective. But there we go. I tried, and in my opinion, I failed. And that that's that's art so yeah I, I hope you enjoyed watching this one it was uh, quite different and I, I don't want to keep up with the illusion that all artists on YouTube are just capable of throwing out perfection constantly mess up as much as the next person and ugh, yeah, I keep looking at it, it's terrible. No, not happy with that at all. But, that's what we do. Anyway, I'll stop prattling on. Take it easy. Have a good one. Like, comment, subscribe. You know the deal. Two little kittens. Look at that face. You're not happy, are you, Susu? <laughs>